Recycling is a big part of the City of San Diego's Zero Waste Plan. The goal is to reduce waste going to the city's landfill almost entirely by 2040. Once you've done your part and your recyclables have been collected, do you know where they go? What happens to recyclables? When trucks are loaded with recyclables, they go to one of two sorting facilities located in the city of San Diego. They're called Material Recovery Facilities, or MRFs for short. At the MRF, trucks are weighed when they arrive and weighed again once empty to calculate the amount of recyclable material they dropped off for processing. The trucks are then sent to the tipping floor. Here, they add to the mountain of materials waiting to be processed. Next, a loader pushes recyclables toward a conveyor belt to begin separating them. There's a wide variety of items that are collected. Placing unacceptable items in your blue bin causes problems down the line. These items include plastic bags, electronics, plant material, clothing, and more. While these items are recyclable, your blue bin is not the correct place for them. These contaminants are handled in the pre-sort line. Workers pull them out and unfortunately, they become landfill. Larger pieces of recyclable materials are also sorted as everything whizzes by. It's a very important part of the recycling process to prevent machinery from clogging up. When San Diego residents throw contaminants into their blue bins, it can cause all kinds of problems. It can even bring the recycling operation to a standstill. Workers have to clear the debris jamming the machinery before they can resume the sorting process. Plastic bags are often to blame for shutdowns. This is why it's important not to bag your recyclables and keep it loose. Plastic bags and plastic wrap are recyclable, just not in your blue bin. Check your grocery, retail, or home improvement store for recycling options. By keeping unacceptable materials out of your blue bin, you help keep workers safe and protect the value of recyclables collected by limiting contamination. Once things are back on track, larger recyclables like cardboard are collected in one area. Mixed paper is separated in another area as workers keep a close eye on materials flying by. With the amount of material received at the MRF, machinery must operate at high speeds. Plastic bottles and glass are also sorted and separated by material type for plastics and by color for glass. With magnetic machinery, workers are able to separate aluminum and metal cans. Despite all of this machinery, human hands are still needed to sort the majority of materials. Workers have to move quickly, making it vital that prohibited items like needles, diapers, and pet waste do not make it into your blue bin. The entire MRF operation is a symphony of sorting. Every area has to work in harmony with each other as workers separate materials and stay safe doing it. At the end of the process, bales and bins of recyclable materials are prepped for shipment. Every item you recycle really does make a difference and all add up to create these giant bales. These recyclables are made into new products this not only saves landfill space, it creates jobs and reduces the need for new raw materials. To learn more about what goes where, visit the city's website, recyclingworks.com. Here you'll also find information on how to properly dispose of hazardous materials, where to donate reusable items, plus so much more. Help make San Diego an even better place to live. Recycle today so you and future generations can enjoy a waste-free San Diego.